What's better than a giant shark? A giant crocodile. Yeah, today's episode is the Sarko Suko, or the Sarko Short. And this guy is better than a Meg for me, personally, because this guy can't be escaped by just jumping out onto the land. This guy will follow you and tear you apart with his death roll, which is pretty powerful. One of the most versatile creatures on the island with power, speed, and stamina. The Sarko is definitely one of the must-have creatures on Ark. Don't believe me? Let's go tame ourselves a Sarko. first thing we're going to need for the Sarko is got to be its saddle guys and this can be unlocked at level 35 so it's quite early tame and all you're going to need is 20 cement and paste 75 fiber and 230 hide not too shabby once you've got yourself the saddle let's get some weapons now I'm going to take a crossbow I'm just going to take my normal crossbow because when I use like my ascendant stuff I tend to knock things out quite quickly and it makes things look so much easier but when you first start out you're probably not going to have ascendant weapons. I'm also going to take a shotgun with me and I'm going to take a spear with me. Just a normal pike like so. On to consumable guys. Now we're going to need quite a bit of consumables because they do take a little bit of a, a long time to tame. So we're going to take a hundred of narcotics. Now guys when it comes to the taming food Raw prime fish meat is the best thing to use for a Sarko. But when you're level 35, you're probably not going to be having prime meat like that. So, the best thing to do, go under and find a fish. There we go. I was going to say, where's all the fish gone? We're going to get ourselves a fish. And we're just going to literally, you can punch it, you can do whatever you need to. I'm just going to take it like so. And we've got some raw fish meat. So the location for a Sarko, guys, is everywhere really around the map. You'll probably find them a lot of places. But the most convenient place to find these guys is definitely the swamps. Now be careful though, the swamps are very dangerous. So if you are going to the swamps to tame one of these, make sure that you are protected. Okay guys, so I'm at this little bit of a uh, way up there it is, I was going to say, I'm at this little bit of uh, a river here. It's very dangerous where I am to be fair because if we go over here there's going to be like rexes, raptors, whatever and everything. Oh and piranhas are in the water as well, nice. So if we go over here there's, uh, there's a lot of uh, deadly creatures. Oh, and then there's always a Sarka we are, don't, I just always know. And it's here on the map, just here on the map I'm trying to like walk backwards while Obviously, staying at, at uh, bay with the uh, the Sarko. So, the best thing to do with Sarkos, guys, is just shoot them and run. They're not the fastest on the land. Obviously, if you go in the water, it's a different game. The Sarko will probably kill you. But on land, we could just shoot it, run away. Oh, I thought he stopped then. Or if you can, like me, oi, up. I was going to say climb up on a high rock. Will this guy knock me off? Come on. And the good thing about being here as well um, is this water is literally full of fish. So I'm literally got a pretty much an unlimited supply of fish. Oh god. If I had my uh, ascendant crossbow now, it'd probably be down. This is why I didn't want to bring my ascendant one because no matter how much of a high level this guy is, my ascendant one would have took him down by now. Oh. Is he going? He's going. We've got him on the run. I know it could be a she as well. Oh, don't go over there. It's cold. Hey, we got him. We got her. 84. Not bad. Quickly whack all this in. I'm going to put them in there like so. G give me some of my arrows back. I could do with them. 
Right, here we go. We've got we've got some arrows back now. I'm gonna quickly switch them. There we go. You uh, you sleep tight. And I'm gonna quickly go and kill some of these fish. Or some of the piranhas at least. Oh yeah. Whoa! Now guys we have to wait and we do need to protect this sarco because Anything could come from that way, like Carnos or anything like that, but anything could come from this way as well. In fact, let's go have some fun over here. Oh god, we've got a lot of raptors here. Reload, reload! We've got an Argy coming in. We've got an Argy coming in. We've got an Argy down. A hyena done. Hey. I need to, I need to, I need to tame one of them. Oh, I say one of them. I need to tame, I need to tame a pack of them bad boys. Reason called waters, no problemo. What the hell? Wonder what that was then. Oh, these just pop out of the ground. Whoa, five. We'll take them. I am uh, decorating my uh, base eventually. So the first thing you'll learn about a sarco is the speed of them so walking on land they're not the fastest as you can imagine sprinting on land however they are pretty fast i actually really like these guys and what's good about them as well is their stamina is absolutely amazing too look at that parasaur over there now not only can these guys run really fast on land with the stamina and everything else to go with it these guys can walk into the water and swim like no tomorrow look how fast we can swim through the water. Even at just normal speed, we're pretty fast. But when we sprint, look at that. This guy is absolutely rapid. And the good thing about this as well, is if you're very low with your stamina when you've been in the water or you've been fighting or whatever it is, you can just stop sprinting and keep swimming and your stamina will still regain while you're swimming away. Making the Sarko one of the best creatures for traveling now, obviously, as you can imagine, guys, we can use the Sarko to stand on and use him as a boat. If we're out in the middle of nowhere and we just want to get off our croc and, I don't know, start shooting something or anything like that, we can easily do that. And when we're, when we're done with this little boat, or I say big boat, should I say, we can just park him on land. And that's it. And also, this boat can obviously, it has teeth and it can kill things, so... It makes it an even better boat than a raft. Now, of course, the good old Sarkos are great hunters in the water and out the water and can get you a lot of meat, a lot of fish meat, and a lot of hide as well, guys. These guys are awesome hunters in and out of the water. Now, the Sarko does have three attacks. One is your primary attack where you just use them giant razor sharp teeth to bite whatever you need to and the good thing about this is if you're aiming behind you or something's attacking you from behind and you use your primary attack you do a nice little jump back and it doesn't matter if they're at the side of you to the right of you whichever you can use this and it will snap to that creature so anything that's trying to surprise you from behind is dead meat the secondary attack of a Sarko is a barrel roll or death roll, should we say. Just like normal alligators and crocodiles that we see nowadays, it just grabs small to human sized dinos and spins them around and pretty much kills them straight away. <laughs> it's a very, very powerful attack. Now you can use this on medium sized dinos, but it doesn't spin them around. And the third and final attack that Sarko does is a pounce attack. Now, if you hold your C button, or I, think, I believe it's your R3 or something like that, you can see that it lights up your crosshair whenever there's a target. If you're not, you can't do anything. But if you're close enough and it highlights up, you can then let go of the C button and it does a little pounce attack, which is awesome, to be fair. The only thing is, it's not that 
you've got to be quite close as you can see so just make sure that when you're doing this attack you are close enough to the creature and it's it's not too bad when creatures are like going away you can use this to pounce on them but do be careful guys it does take your stamina quite a bit now a sarco does have a lot of damage resistance as well you can very easily take out three trikes for example now guys one of the great things about having a sarco is mega piranhas now as long as you have a sarco with you mega piranhas will flee they won't come near you while you have a sarco so as you can see they don't want none of me they don't want none of my sarco they're swimming away come back here which this makes it very very handy in fact probably one of the most handiest things for a sarco look at that the piranhas normally like oh you can't i can't explain how bad piranhas are in this game but with a sarco it makes them like little cowering dogs just having that sarco there uh, just to show you guys my sarco is not even in the water he's just there <laughs> and they're still they they know what's best for him they know what's best for him they're scared of me and my sack and last but not least guys underwater exploration with a sarco is pretty cool it's a lot easier than probably a meg to be fair because of the maneuvering of the sarco and things you can use the attack to spin around quickly and swim away and the speed of a sarco users can get away from creatures a lot faster now i don't recommend that going and attacking like mosasaurs with a sarco so i'd probably avoid things like that and like electric heels and stuff but definitely could use this guy to get around the map underwater and things like that or if there's a drop or anything like that you just need to get around quicker the sarco is your guy so guys, that's been it for me and my Sarko. I hope you did enjoy it and learned something. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and leave a subscribe on the channel. I appreciate it big time. Don't forget to join the Patreon, the Discord, the Twitch, anything and everything, guys. You get yourselves over there, and I'll see you in the next episode.